victory is in our hands. This Wednesday's special section was short on the menu for this fourth stage between San Salvador and Calama, a 554-kilometer-long liaison and only 207 kilometers of selective section. The Dakar was leaving the Argentinian soil and entering Chile. The start of the selective section was high above the sea level, at 3,300 meters. The terrain there was stony. On Tuesday, Marcoma and Nasser Alatia had won respectively in the bikes and car sections. The suspense is at its peak in both competitions, even if Cyril Desprez and Carlos Sainz were still overall leaders before the start today. As usual, the bikes were first to take off, and Mark Comas, winner of the previous stage, was the first to go, and he sure was heading fast on the track. The first checkpoint of the day was at kilometer 81. After the first four bikes have made it to this point, Mark Coma had collected the best provisional time. Riding his KTM, Cyril Desprez was then 32 seconds adrift, and Coma in virtual leading position at the overall standings. The rest of the race carried on going well for Coma, though Depre managed to narrow the gap. But it was not a day for the Spaniard to let go of a victory. He finished 16 seconds ahead of Cyril Depre, the winner of last year's event. As a consequence, the Catalan rider took the later position at the general standings, only two seconds ahead of the title holder. The suspense is total. In the car category, Nasser Alatia was first to take off for this 207-kilometer stage after his win on Tuesday. Then Stefan Petteransel had the misfortune to leave the track in the first part of the selective section, as his BMW's left door was damaged and the window shaking. The Frenchman, however, managed to continue at normal pace. And even more than normal, as the nine-time winner of the event was the fastest at the first checkpoint, in this competition between BMW and Volkswagen, David might just beat Golgoth. Carlos Sainz, Mark Miller and Nasser Alatia were close behind Peter Ansel. He then accelerated and increased the gap with his pursuers. At kilometer 146, Peter Ansel was 55 seconds clear of Carlos Sainz and over one minute ahead of Nasser Alatia. Could it be a first stage win for BMW in this year's Dakar? Except that Carlos Sainz didn't intend to let that happen and he boosted his pace in the last kilometers. In the end, the Spaniard clinched the stage victory, Nasser Alatia finished second and Stefan Petterensel was third. The Matador remains at the top of the standings.